Hey. You haven't been on this game in a little minute. And I, you know, because Terry came out, I had to drop some Terry videos. Uh, my Terry video yesterday wasn't the best. <laughs> it, it was terrible. <laughs> I played absolutely terrible with Terry. But, uh, let me make sure this audio is good so we can start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, it's cool. I don't know if it's been cool, but it's cool now. It's got a PG3 here, and I have a Rob back in the Ace Attorney Trilogy, bro. And we on episode two. Um, I don't think I've mentioned it. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention it in, the, in the, any of the last videos. But yeah, I brought Ace Attorney with the little uh, war points they give you from the game pass. And why is this game on sale for nine dollars now? You, like, bro, if I really, if I will paid it, like I knew I was, like I something told me. My first thought was to wait. I would have spent only nine dollars off my gift card. I could have just bought, I could have just bought like two five dollar gift cards, bought the game. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I didn't do that. All right, bro, like that cooked me. But I guess it don't even matter. Um, look at Mia. I don't know who that is, but I'm pretty sure we're going to find out. <laughs> Episode 2 begins. <laughs> this time, it's 1 o'clock a.m. Oh, oh, sound like a bomb. Huh? Hey. Detective, we made it. Whew. What a relief. Glad the jewel was still safe. Oh, it's Gumshoe. Oh, you said it, pal. It must have been our rock solid security that scared them all. Would you mind opening the safe just to double check? Ugh. Ugh. Ah, we've been had. Master, ma master, man. Uh, out front, guards, turn on the searchlight. <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> ah. Bro, it better not be another magic. He copying Matt's whole flow. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must leave. I must be leaving now. What is that? What? Why re we shall meet again when the moon is full? <laughs> Bro, mask, mask, solutions. <laughs> Why is it always I take a break from the next game, I come back and it's a magician? Like <laughs> October 11, 3:34 p.m. Right in Cole office. Hey Nick, get a load of this. Hey, are you listening to me? You'll be cleaning the toilet later. This is important. Sigh. What are you freaking out about now? <laughs> Today will be the last time you talk to me that way. Huh? We're about to hit the big time. Big time? Man. What do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me are. Ha! Don't be silly. You talking about me and Pearly, of course. Ah, oh, look at Pearl. She's back. I don't... Y'all know, uh, well, if you new here, I normally don't give Pearl a voice because I only can really do two girl voices. So, our main, you know, assistant here is Maya. When Maya's on the screen, Maya gets the voice. So, it's, I'm not about to think I'm just going to be like, why Pearl and Maya sound the same? The same reason why <laughs> some of the male characters sound the same. <laughs> like, hey. Hello, it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. Pearls, you haven't changed the business. Wait. What are you doing here, anyway? <laughs> Haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this! What's this? Some kind of poster? Bro, what is... Rain Village? Isn't that... Isn't that the Iron Pearl broke? That's right! It's our hometown! Pearly and mine, that is! What's this about treasures from the boonies? <laughs> Very funny! You can laugh all you want! 
but you'll be singing another tune tonight. Tonight? Oh, tonight. The Treasures of Karain exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. That's why I dressed up at your special today. What do you think, Nick? You look the same to me. Uh -huh. Same Maya, different day. <laughs> you didn't change your fit, bro. This young lady here is Maya Faye. The younger sister of Mia Faye, my friend and mentor. I guess since it's like the third game and it's the second episode of the third game, they give it, they reintroducing you just in case you skip the first two games, which I feel like that's kind of like it doesn't make sense because you missing out on a lot that you probably wouldn't understand unless they bring it up, and if they bring it up and just don't explain it, then like do not want to get it, but. Uh, Maybe it's really me at last, the last episode. That's kind of crazy. I first met her two years ago. I remember that, y'all. If y'all was, was here when we did this, y'all will remember it, too. I was working on a case of founding Mia's death. And ever since then, I, I've, I've been the one who's been keeping the law off. It's a flow from behind the scenes. Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit medium and a bit of a shady character. Hey, who are you calling shady? <laughs> and this little girl is Pearl. This Pearl Faye, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training. I know I'm a bit young, but I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. Karain Village is the home of the mysterious Karain channeling technique. And Maya here is the daughter of the Karain school of channeling's master. I can yo, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wanna meet Misty Faye. Like, we, I, I, we did met her sister. Uh, well, well, Pearl be her niece, right? It'd be her niece. Yeah, Pearl's her niece. We didn't met her two daughters. Like, I, I want to I wanna meet her, too. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power from my own eyes. It's the real thing, all right. Mr. Nick, how long are you going to make two gorgeous women like us wait? Yes, Mr. Nick, how, I can't wait any longer. I want to, to see the exhibit. Sigh. Looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head off, head on out. Okay, we got the poster. October 11, 7:18 p.m. Lord, Lordly Trailer Main Exhibit Hall. Lordly Trailer, this is in the fanciest and most expensive department store. A treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey. Bro, why do this game always got? Why do? They just got banger after banger. They can't, they can't miss. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. It all depends on how you display it. Oh, they even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in the Fate Manor storeroom. Oh yeah, I remember scribbling on it when the, when I was a little girl. Scribbling on it is crazy, my. I want a family Harlem. <laughs> a heirloom. Say, say, Nick. The person in charge of this exhibit, exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. The basement warehouse? Why the basement warehouse? Why I gotta be in the basement? Alright. I guess we should go and say hello. Why the basement, though? <laughs> a piece of cloth with a ton of family brain characters jammed onto it. Probably it's story knowledge only mediums would know hmm let's see here's the title in English 108 ways to save money I'm pretty sure the number has gone up since the last time I saw it well we're, we're always looking for new ways you know being a medium sounds like a rough way of life it really does what's with the big cushion it's just lying around with nothing on it 
Hmm, well, it must be for the greater tre greatest treasure of all. Greatest treasure? Is there something like that? Huh? Why, of course there is. Right, Pearly? Oh, um, yeah, of course. Yeah, I bet it would really take your breath away. What? That gym just looked like something you sit on, bro. It looked like it's a print in the middle of it, too. Like, <laughs> I think I remember this old this old forward screen here. I'm pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence. And that murder case that happened in Karain Village. This folding screen is the greatest of all the spirit channel secrets. The six leaf Karain sacred writing folding screen. If it's so secret, why is it the most prominent thing in the exhibit? <laughs> There's just a bunch of old urns. Oh, there's just a bunch of old urns. Are the are these really treasures too? Of course they are. This is a treasure exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. So all it takes to be a treasure is age. No wonder nobody likes museums. <laughs> oh my, Mystic Maya. Oh, oh, Mystic Maya. Look, I can't believe it. Ah, it's so cute. It's a little door. Diorama of Korean Village! Yeah, look at that. But somehow it seems to reek of dre <laughs> dreariness. Oh! Mystic Maya, it's your house! It even says Fay Manor on it! Yikes, you're right! I kinda want to add the famous in the famous in front of me. Don't do it, Maya. They might get mad. Oh, is that it? Bro. Watch, you gonna go in the basement, the music gonna cut off, it's gonna just be quiet. Have everything. Uh. Bro, this <laughs> Nah, this is fire. October 11th, Lord Lee Tra Taylor, basement warehouse. Yup, this is a basement warehouse, alright. This, this place is scary, I feel like a monster could jump out at any time. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Wright. It, a monster, you were right. Huh? A monster? Andrews? She coming back? Bro, she look different, bro. She cut her hair, bro. She got the black fiddle one. Look at her. Nah, this is crazy. This, I feel like this is like, besides the main characters, she, I guess maybe she, 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 she in that lot of uh, old bag category. They just bringing her back, huh? Uh, good evening. It's good to see you again. Y you, I know you. <laughs> Look here, she's smiling too. This how you know we changed her life with that case, bro. We changed her life. <laughs> nice to see you, see you again too, little miss. Uh, hello. Is she a friend of yours, Nick? And how do you know her, Pearly? Oh, yeah, because, of course, you wouldn't know Andrews because she was kidnapped the whole episode. It didn't, I mean, we really didn't talk to Andrews outside of, but, yeah, of course, she wouldn't know her. Nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the promotion and planning for the treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for the, for our security arrangements. Oh, um, n nice to meet you. Adrian Andrews, sure has changed since we last met. Bro, like, y'all see her, bro? She really smile. Like, I, this is the most I've ever seen her smile. Like, look at that, bro. How old is she now? Like, like, what she be like? I'm pretty sure they... No, Maya's 19 now, bro. So she has to be, like... Did she go up two ages? I forgot how old she was. But I she couldn't have been 24. Bro, Phoenix is 26 now, bro. We really watching this man get older, bro. Sheesh. This pit is, is I think his picture wasn't even like that in the last one. That's crazy. Pearl is almost 10, bro. Maya is almost 20, bro. Maya is officially two years younger than me now. It's insane. Wow. We really watching these characters get older. So this is the warehouse. The really viable exhibit items are still stored away in here. What I tell y'all though, I did say it was gonna be quiet when we came down here, bro. The computer looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. And that means what? The camera is set up to take a photo of anyone that goes there in or out the storeroom. Then the data from the camera gets uploaded to the computer here. That's what. 
I see. That's some pretty high tech stuff. Um. It's a security camera. It's trained on a warehouse door. It's set up to take a picture of anyone that answers or exits the door. And now it's a prevention. It's worth a pound of cure, they say. Bruh, Andrew's really different, bruh. Looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on it is, is the burr. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger. Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Like, maybe for that weird hamburger festival or something? I kind of doubt it. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it said spaghetti. Why are you talking about food? Oh, wait. That's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said Spaghetti Festival. What do you think? Okay to me, besides spaghetti, this is the only thing more tangled than your, your reasoning. Uh. Fucking ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow minded cultural assumptions, I think. R right, sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this same conversation before somewhere? Because we have. <laughs> any, I feel like any episode there's a ladder, I feel like we didn't have that conversation. Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. You see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. Really? Let's go in. I want to take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized, unauthorized personnel. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> like we, we heard her say it, Maya. You didn't have to tell me. I think it's I think that's it for this side. We gonna slide over here now. Oh what that gotta be Misty Faye. Oh uh, uh statue. Mystic Maya, take a look. Next to the door. That that's Mystic a Amy. I feel like I I feel like I I'm not I'm still not saying her name right. A my, it's like a Amy. I'm gonna assume it's Amy, <laughs> right? Yes, that's a statue of the woman who invented the Korean channeling technique. Amy Faye. The statue is alone from one of the training halls of the Faye branch family. In fact, it's just arrived this morning. Okay, we got that. Okay, what's that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me. How should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the Koreans. Uh, she, Shichisho? 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 I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's a ceremonial sword. It's not real. It's not a real weapon sword. The blade isn't sharp. Oh, fooey! I wanted to cut something. What are you eyeing me for? Nah, my, you gotta chill, bro. <laughs> like you just look at Okay. It says organ organ. No it doesn't think it says organize. You just can't see the letter last two letters. Yeah, well I guess no one else can read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, you must feel right at home, huh? Yo. Why she taking shots? <laughs> Alright, bro. We gon we gonna just we gon yeah. Alright, I believe that's it. Okay. Let's talk to Andrews. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? Well, why are you freaking out on me? What? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up, that's all. Mystic Maya, you shouldn't let him off the hook so easily. Please, Maya, don't say anything that needle pearls you further. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. It... It was something that happened seven months ago. Same bit seven months. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case? Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for you, us. No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Oof, that's a relief. Like, look at her face, bro. You see how serious she was what? Hey, she was like so serious, man. Like, I like the new look, man. She switched up the style, you know? 
I'm really impressed with Andrews handling a huge exhibit exhibition. Exhi exhibition. I said exhibition. Like this must be very tiring. Well, Lord Lee Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. The works on display in the main exhibition hall oh, are worthy of the finest museum. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Burley? The finest museums! Yes, I did! That's really wonderful! So this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. The security guards are all... Oh, see, look. She got like a different animation now because she don't have the car. Because normally when she'd do that, she'd be like twiddler, twiddling the card in her hand. Um, a very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So what is with that face she's making? Oh, look, it's already eight. Have you all eaten yet? Um, well, actually, I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all die to get aid? They brought it back. Oh, I like the sound of that. Dying, it sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids lunch. <laughs> Pearly, it's dinner, not lunch. Why don't you go for it and really eat your fill with the kids' dinner? Okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. <laughs> Shall we head upstairs then? Bro. Bro. It's so everything going so good right now. That's how you know something bad about that. Bro. <laughs> like this game gave me PTSD, bro. When they when everything's going good like this, everybody having a good time, something bad is about to go terribly wrong, bro. After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. I know, right? Like it's a difference, bro. Like none of us could have imagined. That the very next day something to look what did i just say what did i say <laughs> something terrible would happen you can't make it up bro october 12 10 09 a.m right in cool law offices nick, nick this is terrible what the you're cleaning the toilet again i never knew you were such a toilet freak give me a break would you my brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time um, I'm going to turn on the TV. What's on the TV, Burley? You've got an update on recent treasure heights. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have, have announced that they believe it was the work of the renowned, renowned phantom thief, Mask the Mask. Look at his fit. Is this his theme song? He looked like he robbed people. His theme song sound like he robbed people too. <laughs> mask the mask. According to the spokesperson, Lord Lee Taylor received a threat later, a threat letter some time, some days ago. This is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasure. L Lord Lee Taylor. Well, Nick, what are you going to do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet. Treasure, Lord Lee Taylor. You don't think. Yes, now get up, Nick. It was stolen by Mask Me Mask. Her most valuable treasure. The Kareem secret urn was stolen. What? Nah. What I like, I literally called it, bro. I called it. There's a giant building just outside the window. Gate Order Hotel. High class luxury hotel. Chain is getting so rich that they brought a whole chunk of the next town over. And started building a huge theme park. It's going to be called Gate. Gatewater Land. To think that two years ago, it was just a little hotel for business, man. Bro, it's crazy. Like, we really watched that hotel get famous. All for one case, that hotel, it changed the, that hotel's entire trajectory, bro. It's crazy. Charlie, white decorative plant. She was alive. Mia really loved it. She went on as far as to make it our mascot. It must be nice to be a plant, being able to just sit in the sun and photosynthesize all, all day. Well, he didn't say all day, but I just added that. Hey, Nick, no time for daydreaming. That's right, Mr. Nick, no time for daydreaming. Oh, man, until I find that urn, they're not going to give me a second of peace. An old movie poster. Apparently, that was the first movie that, Mia, that made Mia cry when she saw it a long time ago. Maya watched it recently, and she said she cried all night too, which I guess is why it's backed up on the back up on the wall. 
I have to check it all one of these days. It's my desk. I don't get to use their assault. Maybe I should wipe them out with a few well-placed swipes over my cleaner rag. Hey, Nick, are you trying to make up make me upset? Nick, are you worried about cleaning the place? About the cleaning? Please leave it to me. Leave it up to me. At least Pearls is good at cleaning. I guess I better go find that urn. <laughs> Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I actually, I neglected them for so long that they're covered in layers of dust. Maybe I should actually try reading them once in a while. Hey, Nick, this is no time for reading. Yes, Mr. Nick, you can always read later. I guess I won't be able to get any peace and quiet to even read until I find that urn. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's typically it here. Refresh my memory a little. What's the secret urn? It's only the.
No, I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here at any... All right, all right, we got it. Why don't you two kiss and make up already? Um, hello? It's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh, it's you, little missy. Um, ah... Uh, actually, my name is Gumshow. Detective Dick Gumshow. Look at me. Now's a good chance for you to try to remember it, right? And if it's too long for you, you can just call me... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Pearly should just be calling him that. <laughs> okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. <laughs> no. No, this is crazy, bro. <laughs> this is insane. Um, yeah. Good to see you again, too, I guess. I hope she don't sit here and call this man that for the rest of the for the rest of the episode, bro. I was about to say I'm pretty sure we don't have to look at all this again, but you know, y'all know me. I gotta look around again to make sure I didn't miss anything or maybe something new. Oh man, that is insane, bro. <laughs> Detective Dick, bro. Um, uh, Mr. D bro. Uh, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us what ha about what happened? Oh, you're trying to remember my name. I had a girl. Uh, just it's Gumcho, okay? Anyway, the thief stole something called the Skirker Urn. I know about that. Oh, look, well, the criminal's name is Nasty Matt. I know about that too. Detective, can't you tell us something other than that? W well, I guess I could. I sort of kind of owe you guys in a way. Crime occurred last night around at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from a guard at the scene of the crime, Kyle. He said the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. The urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Um, so who was guarding the basement warehouse? I guess it, it was the uh, that area we couldn't go into that uh Thank you. 
actually like what? I imagine if it's Max under here this whole time. <laughs> um, what about this version? I just wanted to see if he's had anything. Alright. To the basement warehouse we go. October 12th. Lordly Taylor basement warehouse. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. That's probably because it's an air condition to protect the art pieces, you know. Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos. Huh? What the heck does that mean? Bro. Why do we look like that, bro? Bro, is this just the... Oh, we got a theme song, bro. Why does it seem like everybody should have a theme song, bro? Why do he look like that? I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Uh, um, who are you anyway? Silence! <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. But what do you see? Xavier! The truth has once again been eloquently revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium, neither very advanced at their trade. Am I wrong? Yikes, that, that's scary. H how do you know that? How, you say? The universal skeptic will say that how is it nothing but a question of why. I am a traveler of both time and space and a swimmer of dreams. What is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of him. Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first day of any gentleman and introduce myself. The name is out at me at me. I think I'm saying that right at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> if you, like you can hear it, but like that's crazy. Ace detective. Oh, um, hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. Um, the name's right. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. I'm Maya Faye. Ace Spirit Medium. And I'm, um, Pearly Pearl Faye. Mystic Maya's cousin. And, um, Spirit Medium Ace Apprentice. Excellent. Well then, shall we begin our little game? Game? Why does the phrase one shirt over Baker's dozen come to mind with this guy? Like, what is he talking about, bro? Why is he talking about it? Why does he look like that, girl? Why is his nose like that? Is he missing an eye? Why does he have that perfectly placed right there? Like, why does he have a button on his front? It's a lot of questions about what this, what this man got going on. <laughs> Sir, Laura, please restrain from such crude behavior. Huh? What do you mean? This... The criminal is an artist. The crime scene is the canvas upon which he paints. <laughs> Only I, Ace Detective at me, have an eye which is educated enough to read the signs. Did you translate that for me, Nick? I think he pretty much said, don't touch anything, amateurs. <laughs> if there's something you wish to know about, you have but to ask at me. I know everything there is to know about my rival, Nasty Mask. What do, you, what do I do now? Does he have any top secret information stuff that only a real criminal buff would know? I'll think about what to do. But that's why I listen to what Mr. Ace Detective has to say. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't know that, but this and this are connected? I guess, it, I guess it makes sense. Oh, I did not mean to go up. I did not mean to zap that. Alright. I mean, I'm pretty sure everything would be marked off. With that. Yeah, I haven't looked at it before, I guess. Okay. I have a feeling eventually we're going to be able to come and get in.
grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other the angelic chir cherbus of light. Boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the hills of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I forwarded his very latest lonesome larceny. I even returned the target of tyranny, the portrait of Magina, to the crime scene. And I did it by myself. I took it back from Nasty Bat. With my brilliant br mind and my brilliant muscles. Yeah, they mentioned it on the news in the great people around town segment. They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, compared to the treasure that I retrieved from them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Oh, tell us what you know about Nasty Bass, and keep it simple, please. Like about how I have devoted my life to throwing his dastardly plant, dastardly deeds? Last night here in the bowels of the store, we were locked in the most glorious battle. I see, huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here and Lurtly Taylor. Naturally, wherever Dimas goes, you will find out me laying his elegant traps. Elegant trap, more like Dimas. I I'll elegance you and made it beautiful getaway. But this time, I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. Oh, you oh you capping now, huh? I would. I'm wondering if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. Um, can you tell us exactly what happened right here last night? But of course, after all, I have always said there should be no secret between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> I first received the request for my services 20 days ago. And it was 10 days ago that we received Nasty Matt's calling card. Huh? You were hired before the calling card even arrived? Yes, you see. Ah, oh, I was about to say, what did I see? Ah, from why did I say that? You see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and throughout. That's Andrew, Adrian for you, yeah. Always planning. A mere 10 days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. A calling card arrived, right? Yes, so Ace detected that I am. I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse and waited for him. Alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? Ridiculous! Why would I seek help from such a singular, useless group of nincompoops? You've got a lot of nerve, after all, it was you that let me mask it away. I always operate alone and concealed out of the sight of others. Concealed? Precisely, even, even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies, first you must fool your friend. Over. Anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. And, but I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the sacred urn disappeared. But, but that's impossible. How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, Sir Lawyer. If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So you're saying that even though on one came through those doors last night. Even though on one came through those doors last night. I guess I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to say no one. Our precious urn still somehow vanished from under your nose. But that's just not possible. Um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to maybe get him something. Masty mask calling card. It's got its emblem printed on it, right? I'm quite impressive, but I would expect nothing left from my arch rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top secret piece of information. Well, we've got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit meter, and an ace cousin apprentice here. Yes, indeed. I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace apprentice. Ace professionals? I don't know if I really want this guy to like us, ever. Well, sir lawyer? I've been told that you two are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure I would say that. That's right! We're going to find a secret urn no matter what we have to do. This is excellent. I will trust you. I'll permit you to make a 
to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If per perchance you should discover something of value, return then to my office. My office is Earthly Delights at me, Detective Agency. Uh, office of Earthly D Delight? Well then, Sir Lawyer, if you will excuse me, I have much to do. On guard! I just feel like he'd say that while he's leaving. Wait, wait a minute! He's gone. I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick! Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. I turn up and investigate before he changes his mind. I want to go to his office too. Take me with you, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. We in the basement looking for clues. Masty mess. He bought the steal from you. We got Pinocchio. That's his rival. Hey. <laughs> that pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the sacred urn in it! Don't touch it! There may be clues to the thief's identity on there. Uh, I worked so hard to make that box! Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? That urn had always been on its stand in the wind and way of the Fay Manor. But there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I, I was so proud of it. Poor Maya. Maybe it'd have to been better if Nasty Maz had taken a box too. Ugh. Looking for clues. You looking for clues. Hey, Pearly, do you know what this is? It's a computer. A computer? Oh, I've heard of those. It has such a cute name. It looks like this computer is for storing the data from the security camera. If someone comes in or out of the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. It's probably the trap that the detective set up. Let's see if we can find last night's data on this thing. I highly doubt it. We might even find a photo of Nasty Man. Mm, let's see here. Man, I really stink at working these things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? You're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. I had no idea you were so pathetic with high-tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. I guess you'll have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, it looks like the camera only went off last night. Went off once last night. Yeah, I said we're looking for a clue. Where's all- where is Buddy office even at? Is that next? Uh, I'm guessing you- go, I'm guessing you have to go up and leave the basement first, right? Yeah, we're looking for a clue. It's a security camera. It's trained on the big door to the storeroom. It's set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out. A security camera? Yeah, go stand in front of that door and I'll it'll snap your photo too, Pearly. Um, Mystic Maya, do you think I should smile? Nah, it's for criminals, so I think you should make a really scary face. L like this? Bruh. <laughs> Wow, this is awesome! What did Miss Andrew say it was called again? Uh, Shichishijo. It's literally Seven Branch Sword in Japanese, or so says Miss Andrews. Whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit, seven times the fun! Pretty catchy, huh? I bet it'd sell like hotcakes! Um, there's something about it that bothers me. Wow, you're really firing on all cylinders today, Pearly! The sword. It wasn't Mr. Amy holding it last night. Wasn't Mr. Amy holding it last night? Ah! She was. And another thing, the sword wasn't bent last night like it is now. You're, you're right! Awesome, Pearly! I wouldn't expect any less from my little ace apprentice! The sword is bent, so that must mean last night someone used it somehow. Aha! I just thought of something! Maybe Detective Acme smashed Masty Mask with it! Like this! Yowch! What the heck? What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Oh man, my head, my hair! <laughs> uh, oh wait. Mr. Nick, wasn't that big door over there? Wasn't that big, uh, it looks like it's the door to the extra storeroom. I can see it locked, lots of boxes and stuff back there. 
I guess that's where they were keeping a sacred arm. Remember, Maya, Miss Andrew said we're not allowed in there. I said we're looking for a What you gonna do when nasty mass pulls up on you? What you did? Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. I didn't do that. Well, I wasn't here last night. I have noticed the color is outrageous. But this paint has already dried up. Well then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, man. Paint doesn't dry that fast. Besides, I told you it wasn't me. Looks like it's been several days since it was spilled. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of this stain. Huh? You're right. I wonder what it could be. Oh, you, you must be talking about like this right here. That's what you mean. This statue of Mystic Amy is so cool. I want a gold statue of myself. We could put it in the office. Hey, it's right in code. How about a gold statue? Alright, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. We actually gonna end the video here. Um, so I hope you like, share, subscribe if you're new, turn post notifications for me, and I will be happy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm out, man.